Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Joy of Stick. Stickhead here and it is my absolute pleasure to show you a brand new Atari ST game. Well, I say brand new but uh, I'm taking my time to get around to reviewing it as you can tell from the title. It's called Laser Ball 2014. Uh, now this is written by a, a guy called Thomas Ill. Uh, he's an absolute diamond. And uh, yeah, it was written originally back in 1991. Uh, he says he's about 17 at the time. And now in 2014, he's had another look and updated it, which is really cool. Uh, apparently, he's a film editor, and, and when he's doing his job away from home, stuck in a hotel room, there's very little for him to do. It's easy for him to get bored, so that inspired him to... Uh, get to get back on this game and uh, update it which is just brilliant sorry I'm just listening to the music the music's really cool very cool I wonder who wrote the music very good if he's done it himself anyway yeah it's a, it's a puzzle game um, I know it took a lot of its influence from games like uh, Deflector and what was the other one I, I want to say Atomino maybe Atomics I can't remember but yeah games of that ilk where you shift tiles around but also there's a laser beam and reflection involved so let's have a look shall we Probably got to pick something here, haven't I? English, right? Here we go. Laser Ball 2014. <laughs> Love the graphics as well. <laughs> Come on, then let's have a bit. Should we go into the trainer mode? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not so good. Let's try again. Okay. <laughs> A uh, couple of bombs and crashes there, but uh, managed to get it sorted out by instead downloading the hard disk installable version. All right, and we're in level one, time infinite. Oh yeah, um, Thomas told me that uh, I should turn the timer off while I'm learning the game, um, just to help me out. And I don't know what that means. Something stops. Okay, so can I use? No, I've got to use mouse. Alright, so I can move my mirrors um, to reflect this laser beam and I have to try and reflect it into the red ball. So look, here's this is the gun that's firing the laser, shooting it out this way and I've got to try and get it to deflect into here. Now, this thing here, what's that? I'm not sure. I think that's bonus points. Let me just confirm. Yes. If if I hit this with the laser beam, I get a bonus uh, 100 points. So I should get that first. Now, I'm moving the red box with my mouse, and then I can move the um, tile that I want by clicking, by pressing the cursor keys. And um, obviously I can't manipulate that in any way, but I click the mouse button to rotate it. All right, let's uh, see. Right, there we go, I got that. Now I can whack that up there. Oh no, obviously it can't just touch the red, it has to rest on it for a little while. So there we go, done. All right, it started nice and simple, but I imagine these are gonna get very complicated before too long. I like the little um, tiny map of the level here, that's very cool. All right, let's have a look. Combining mirrors can lead the way. That's a nice touch there, the uh, the little hint. Okay, so first of all, I want to get the 100 points. Thank you very much. Uh, now, how am I going to do this? 
I want to be there. How do I get there? Well, not like that, obviously. Ah, like this, maybe. Ha <laughs> ha, fantastic. Now, I was uh, really, really worried that I would show myself up horrifically. Preview for minus 200 points. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I don't want to lose points, so I'm not going to do that. Maybe that's like a little hint or something. How to open that door. Now, there's new tiles here. I had no idea what they are, so let's have a look at the manual. There is a manual, by the way. I'll provide um, links to the download the game, and uh, you can get the manual from the same place as well. Now, here we go. Let's have a look at these new tiles. Uh, okay, so this one here is a door. Uh, you must hit them. You must hit them first at the green button. Okay, so I'm guessing I've got to hit it this way up, and then afterwards you can shoot through it at a 90 degree angle. Okay, so let's get that, get those points. We'll put that. No, we won't put that there. Uh, let's put that there. Ah, so that's it. That's open the door. Uh, now, if I bring this one to here, no, okay, that didn't work. I don't. These are obviously just permanently shut. There's nothing I can do about those ones. So let's move that there. Hey, we're in. We've learned how to use doors. Get in. Okay, here we go, level four. I'm tempted to click the preview, just have a little look, see what that's all about. All right, what have we got here then? Some more doors, and what's this C? Sacrifice a mirror. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's um, let's see if I can find out what these new these new things are. No, I cannot. It doesn't seem to tell me in the in the manual unless I'm missing something. Well, let's just experiment then, shall we? Uh, sacrifice a mirror? Question mark. Well, I have to, don't I? I guess. I guess that's what this does. If I break through that, I have to say goodbye to a mirror which opens this one. Oh, hang on. It doesn't sacrifice it, it locks it in place. So I needed to have um, rotated that because I can't rotate it now. Okay, so I've got to restart this level. How do I restart? Let's have a look at the manual. Quit no. Uh, does it say? No. Q. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, it's put me right back here. <laughs> All right. Let's get back to where we were. It would be nice to have some kind of retry, wouldn't it? Rather than be uh, quite so harshly punished for a, a mistake. Okay, well, let me do these levels that I've already done, and I will catch you on the other side. Okay, so here we are again. This time I've made sure I've rotated this one here so it's ready to be used even once it's been frozen in place by me breaking this. So there we go, that should do it. Move that over here, move that up there. Brilliant, we're in. So sacrifice isn't quite the word, it's, it freezes them into place, it says it right here, let's see, stops, it 
only I was paying attention. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Now, how am I going to get these mirrors in the right position? That's key here, isn't it? Um, hmm. <laughs> okay, I've got it. Here we go. That's cool. It's clear that some of the puzzles are about positioning the laser correctly. Some of the puzzles are about doing things in the right order. Some of the puzzles are how do I actually move the tiles in a way which will allow me to complete the level. Oh, now here we go, new tiles. Now careful here because it does say something about these. It says these ones mean no fun at all. So these ones here, hit the bomb means game over. Okay, for 4,000 points you can buy an extra life, but the real gamer will start from the top. <laughs> it's going to start me back at the beginning, isn't it? That's really annoying. Can I put my name in? No? Okay. Start level. Oh, brilliant. What level did I get to? Was, it, was that five? Let's have a look. I think it was level five. Nope. Alright, well, bear with me. I'll complete this one again. And then uh, we'll get back to where we need to be. This time I'm not going to wait so long <laughs> until it gets to the bomb. Alright, let's have a look. So I need to get... Oh, interesting. Quick. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, I couldn't get it in the right place because I'd moved that one. Oh, man. All right, it's not messing about now, is it? The time has been taken away, yeah, sure, but the uh, there's still time pressure there because the, as it burns through those bonus point blocks, it gets closer and closer. To this. Oh, I see. I'm going about it wrong, that's why. Right, now I see. Did, was it me, or did that go a lot faster than before? Right, let's try again. No messing about this time. Alright, so I want to change that, change that, get that down there, get that up there. Blimey. That should do it, right? Yes, we're in. Brilliant. Okay, what's next? Alright, hey, fantastic. No time pressure this time. So here's where we need to go. We've got to avoid this bomb at all costs. Hmm, okay. no idea how I'm going to do this. Okay. That's not helpful at all. Oh, hang on, hang on. Okay, so I clearly need one to deflect it upwards. Am I overthinking this? Yeah, I am. Okay, here we go. I've got to be really careful here that I don't activate that bomb. Yeah, okay, this is good. Get that up to the top. And then turn, oh, turn that, and turn that. Blimey. It's 
a bit of a, a bit of a noodle scratcher this game. We're only in the rookie levels. Who knows where it goes a bit later on in the higher levels. Oh, we've got some new new tiles. Now these aren't in the manual either. So I, I'm guessing we're left to experiment with what these do. Are they are they teleporters? No. Let's see. Let's see what they do. Let's direct the laser into this one and see what happens. Oh, it moved. Ah, okay. Hmm. So I need to direct the laser up to move that out of the way. So let's do that. I don't know how much I want it to move though. Hmm, not that much. Yeah, not that much because. How am I now? Lovely. <laughs> Overthinking it again. <laughs> End of campaign rookie. Left mouse button for exit, or right mouse button for other campaign. Let's have a go at a tougher campaign, shall we? Classic 91. Do you reckon those are going to be even harder? <laughs> Alright, let's start. Start classic 91. Here we go. Right, I'm going to watch out for these bombs. Okay, so I want that down here. And this one up there. Nice, okay, so <laughs> these, <laughs> at least initially, aren't tougher than the rookie levels. It's good. Oh, lots of bonus points to be had here. If I can figure out a way to get there. Why are these red? Does that mean I can't move them? Right, okay. There's a bomb there. How on earth? <sighs> what? As soon as I move this though, it's going to break that, and I'm assuming that's one of those. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, that ramped up pretty quick, didn't it? Left bit neck. Um. Go back down to start level one. Um, oh, trainer mode. Ah, okay. That's trainer mode. I probably should have done that. Never mind. Uh, let's try a different campaign. Move it. Massive. <laughs> let's try move it. Let's have a little look. Really tempted to start singing the zig and zag song. But I won't. I'm guessing this can be moved in any direction. Um, so I've got to get there. Really? Is that for the best? I'm not not convinced. That's the greatest way to get there. Because I need all of these. Hmm. How do I do this then? Can I get all three in there? Will that, will that help? No, I don't think I can get all three in. Oh, I think I've nutsed it up, haven't I? Like an absolute tool. Oh, what have I done now? <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's start that one again. I wish there's some kind of retry. Maybe there is, and I'm just not seeing it. But uh, it's pretty vicious, isn't it? I mean, the early tutorial levels are quite nice. They're quite gentle, and then from then on, it's like full on. See, what's the difference between this and this? Should we find out? Let's direct a beam at it. See that it doesn't do anything, and I don't, didn't think that one did either. Hmm. All right. So what do I need? I need a block there. 
How do I get a block there? I don't know. Oh my word, I have no idea. Absolutely none. See, that's it. Once you've started moving them, you could have actually moved them into a completely useless place. <laughs> is that going to move? It is. Right. Okay. That's good. Now I want. What do I want? I want to move it in. Oh, I think I've cracked it, you know. And then I want this to go in. Hey! <laughs> See, no, I think that's a sign of a really good puzzle game where you just feel clueless, you feel lost, and then all of a sudden something clicks, and then the game makes you feel like a genius. <laughs> I mean, some of the great puzzle games of all time do that. I mean, I'm thinking of games like um, what's the one where you can rewind time? Braid. Braid's like that. You just you're faced with a puzzle and you've no idea, and then all of a sudden there's a light bulb moment. I think that's a sign of a good puzzle game, and, th and this seems to have it. But I'm gonna have to leave it there. I think you've got a pretty good impression of what the game's all about, and uh, I do recommend you go and try it out. After all, it's free. It's a brand new Atari ST game, you don't see many of those, and it's, it's really high quality. Uh, I mean, it wears its influences on its sleeve, um, with the Atomino or Atomics, I don't remember which, and laser or no, deflector influences, but by combining elements, it, it kind of takes it to a whole new level. Um, yeah, really good, really good, I definitely recommend you check it out, and, uh, and send Thomas Ill your love. Uh, and tell him how, how great it is. Yeah, awesome. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Take care.